The LA Wildcats haven't done too much right as they're 0-2 and the only time they're really talked about is when you're putting them at the bottom of your power rankings. But they do have someone in particular that has been balling out and is a very bright spot for the XFL. Someone who's a very hard worker, who's been on NFL teams before. I'm just going to cut to the chase. It's Nelson Spruce. And let me tell you, he's on the loose. And I'm Dr. Seuss. I just said that. This is always NFL Sports. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more XFL NFL football content. Go ahead and check out the RGFL XFL podcast we just uploaded. Talk about everything week two, power rankings, our week three picks. Link will be in the description. It's pretty funny. Now let's go ahead and get into the video. Nelson Spruce is an absolute baller. This past week against Dallas, he had six receptions for 89 yards and two touchdowns. And honestly, should have had three. In the third quarter, Josh Johnson, who was not hitting many throws at all, had Spruce open after a very well-run route and overthrew. That should have been another touchdown, and that could have been a huge key deciding factor of who actually won this game. That, that was a pretty big play. Spruce showed his touchdown potential, made some really good catches, got his team back in the game on a deep ball that Josh Johnson actually did put right on the money and was able to create separation as well. This season, he has 17 receptions for 192 yards and two touchdowns through the first two games. What's impressive about this is that he is first in both receptions and receiving yards. 17 receptions first by far, 192 yards first by far. He became the first ever XFL receiver to hit 100 yards and then followed it up with another great game having 89 yards and two touchdowns this week against Dallas. This guy is great, but statistics aside, he's still pretty good. I mean, I saw this guy firsthand in person when he back when he was with the Chargers in camp. And let me tell you, he was one of the hardest workers there. The coaches and his teammates loved him. And he looked like the, I mean, his work ethic was amazing. He looked like he was working harder than anyone else there. He was trying I thought that he was going to make an NFL team. I thought that he was going to make the team. Unfortunately for him, he didn't. He also spent great um, some time with the, the Rams as well. And people said that he was a fantastic teammate and a great friend. Uh, we, we saw Melvin Gordon and Todd Gurley when they were at the game. They both talked about him. This guy is hes a beast. And he wants to work. He's 27 years old. And honestly, if he keeps up at this pace, he's going to get back in the NFL and hopefully have a chance at a roster spot in the future. But right now, at his time in the XFL, he's a playmaker. And a pass rating of 115.3 when targeted. He also had three different quarterbacks. Two who are absolute garbage. And Josh Johnson, who's supposed to be good, but couldn't throw for anything. He couldn't... He couldn't do anything, but he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the only thing he really didn't do. But I expected Josh Johnson to be a lot better than what he was. He was the first pick of the AF. Didn't play in the AF because the Redskins took him. We got to win with the Redskins. And Josh Johnson has looked good at times. But first start, cut him some slack. He'll be back. But when these two are together, and Josh Johnson's clicking, Nelson Spruce is going to put up monster numbers. And there's no denying that whatsoever. Nelson Spruce has already put up monster numbers compared to the rest of the league with a garbage uh, Josh Johnson and two other no-namers. Imagine when Josh Johnson's on his A-game. Nelson Spruce is going to have a field day, and opposing defenses aren't going to be able to cover him either. Fantastic all-around receiver, and he's he's underrated. Other, I mean, people might shout him out because of his stats and playing XFL Fantasy or whatever, but that's about it. Him as a player, he hasn't really gotten any too much hype up to this. He played pretty well last year in the AAF with the San Diego Fleet, and I think he will continue to ball out here in the XFL. Nelson Spruce is on the loose, and I will not rhyme with Dr. Seuss again, even though I just did. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Go check out the RJ Fox XFL podcast link in the description. Comment anyone you'd like me to make a video on down below. We post a lot of XFL content here. Check out the Ham Phillips video. Comment any other, as I said before, comment any other players. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying stuff too much. This is RZFL Sports.